Hi, my name is Wes Jessup. I'm the director of the Longmont Museum. And I'm here to talk a little bit about our exhibition. Our current exhibition is Ignite, the Art of Sustainability. It's an exhibition that came to us from California. And it really talks about and deals with some of the environmental and ecological issues that we face in our world today. And it's a very exciting show with a lot of artists uh, working in different media to talk about some of these challenges. We have everything from video art to installations made of rubber tires, digital prints, and sculptures that are more traditional. So what I'm gonna do is show you some different pieces of art in this exhibition, and hopefully you'll come down and check it out yourself, because it's a lot of really interesting contemporary pieces in a lot of different media. The piece I'm standing in front of is by a local artist from Boulder, Jessica Moon Bernstein. She's an artist who works with mass-produced recycled materials. So in this case, uh, Attenuation Tunnel is the name of the piece, and it is created, uh, the tunnel part specifically, from recycled rubber inner tubes for bike tires. So she's an artist who has traveled all over the world and has been and living in a lot of third world countries and very traditional societies and has been thinking a lot about the effects of globalization on traditional communities. And a lot of her sculpture represents some of those dichotomies and especially in this piece. This is part of a series of, of a number of pieces that she reuses this material for. Um, but she creates these really fascinating environments from this recycled material. Um, and going inside the tunnel, uh, there are some very interesting and unique sound effects that take place. It's an experiential piece. Another piece that we have is by Daniel McCormick, and he's an artist who creates sculpture that is actually um, incorporated into landscapes that are having environmental challenges. So one of the places in California where he works he creates these wooden sculptures, um, and you can see the one that I'm talking about. Um, and it's called a wattle loop, which is created out of pieces of wood. And um, they are actually filled with different vegetation from the creeks and the rivers of that area. And he actually installs them into the ground so that they grow and become a permanent part of the landscape. And what they do is they actually purify the rivers and the creeks that flow through them and they get rid of a lot of the pollutants that are, that are in the water coming from different places and uh, create a, kind of a healthier, um, a healthier quality of water, but they also kind of address some of the erosion issues that those creeks and rivers have. The pieces, when you take them out of the landscape, are beautiful, as you can see. They're kind of simple, spare, wooden sculptures, abstract. Um, in the landscape, they're also very interesting because they kind of become subsumed by the land around them. So the artist I'm standing in front of, this, these pieces are by Luke Matyas. He's an artist that is based north of Los Angeles, and his work is incredible. It, it, he actually draws it on a pad which is then translated into a digital file. So the pieces you see here, um, even though they were done by hand, they were printed out on a printer. And you can see they're ambitious pieces. They're very large, they're seven feet tall. Um, they're digital analog drawings. And he's an amazing artist. A lot of his palette is just incredibly vivid. And the images and the objects that he brings together uh, really kind of are a mashup of the natural environment and then the kind of mass-produced environment that you find at a place like Home Depot. So um, a lot of the animals and the plants that you see are kind of in a, in a way kind of in conflict with some of the other objects that are around them. The artist I'm standing in front of is Penelope Gottlieb. She's based in Santa Barbara and her work over the last few years has dealt a lot with invasive species and that sounds kind of dry or maybe a little boring but the way she does that is she overlays some of the more recent invasive species on very traditional John James Audubon prints of, uh, of birds that he made in the 1800s. So she really kind of appropriates some of the old images and she brings in this idea of invasive species which is very common in our modern world where there are very many different ways for plants, especially those kinds of plants, to travel across the world. And she's kind of talking about the effects of of those invasive species. She actually shows, um, you know, at first these look very delicate and beautiful, but when you get up close and look at them, actually these birds are being um, kind of strangled and trapped by some of these plants that have come in. And it's actually a little more menacing than what it might first appear to be. 
This is a piece by Iskra Ivanova, who's a local artist based here in Longmont, originally from Bulgaria. And this is a piece that you may have seen around town and other parts of Longmont. It's been created in different forms and in different sites. She created it for this show because our theme about reuse and about sustainability seemed very appropriate to her work. It's comprised entirely of beer bottles, mostly Heineken, and it's interlit from a light um, within the whole sculpture. Uh, she does a beautiful job of bringing kind of new life to these, um, to these thrown away objects. And it's a great example, I think, of, of the variety of material and media that artists are using today. So we're excited to have this exhibition here at the Longmont Museum. It's a great exhibition for the community. We've gotten great responses so far. I hope that you'll have a chance to come and check it out. This exhibition is open until May 11th. Hope to see you soon.